Lots of lightning bolts. Ah, uh, that was one just over there. Oh. Right, the set was very close. <laughs> okay, this looks like a really bad storm we're getting. It's a, what I call, very, very, very late summer storm. And it's very nasty looking. That's what preceded it, a bit of blue sky there. And if I pan the camera around, we see some very nasty sky. And it's a sort of sky that produces hail. I'm highly suspecting this has got hail in it. I've got the slowest internet connection in the world. I'm just trying to see it. Oh, crikey, Charlie's. The red glob in the middle of the screen is what's coming through our place, but what worries me is what's behind the storm. That's now 64 kilometers, and that is a very nasty storm. It's just about to hit us. Big fat raindrops. I think the next thing we'll get is hail. Ooh, bit of lightning there. That's the nasty bit there, those storms. I love that sound. I don't, I don't sort of like it because it probably blow our internet connection out. Last time we got one like that, it blew it out for a couple of weeks. Do you think it's going to hail? Yes. You think so? Yeah. I just noticed a crazy bird on an antenna there. It's a magpie and it doesn't know what to do. It's caught out in the storm there. Okay, we've got some very fast moving clouds coming along now. We haven't had that wind storm front hit us. It's just to the side of us. That bird is still on the antenna there, I don't know if you can see that there, just the, above the tree there. And there's other little birds flying away, I think I can hear the first tickles of hail. Oh no, there's two birds on that antenna there, they're trying to find shelter. And I don't know what they're going to do. Hail, hail, shelter, those little birds are it's really scared of those little birds, oh, the poor little birds. Oh, the rain's starting to really kick in there, that bird is in that tree there. Shoulder. Oh, let's hope it's okay. I'd hate to see lightning hit that tree. Oh, let's hope it can survive. Oh, it's so sad to see the birds like that. Oh, poor thing. Oh, there's other birds going up to that tree. It's so sad to watch. I don't want to watch that. Oh, I just wish you would go to another shelter. The poor bird still stuck in the tree there. Please go to a better shelter. It's not good in that tree. It's a really bad spot to be in a storm. See the sun trying to poke through it there. Maybe that's the light of hope. If the storm's gonna be over, if the sun can get through, the storm's gonna pass and we might be okay. Well, that was the first storm. It came through, blew through, no hail, but the second part of the storm is about to hit. It's just over there. There is lightning all around me. I think this is gonna be much more of a lightning storm than anything else, and it looks very nasty indeed. Very, very nasty. Yes, it's thunder crackling all the time here. It's very much an electrical storm. A very humid day last two days after we had tons and tons of rain. And I can only imagine that this is going to be very, very nasty. This is the moment just before the wind hits and the storm's starting to kick in now. The rain has just started. Tinker, tinker, tinker. This is that second front. The lightning has been savage. Lots of lightning bolts. Uh, that was one just over there. You're going to probably hear it very soon. But I think the lightning, the lightning is sort of the most spectacular and scary part to all this. I think it's going to come through fairly quick and it's going to be very savage. Very close. That was just the other side of the house. 
it's actually the, probably the iPhone is giving it a much brighter stance. It's got very dark here, and it's got it's still quiet. We haven't had the wind that you get with the stall. Right, the sound was very close. <laughs> I don't like it when it's like that. Okay, I can see some fast-moving clouds over there, and I dare say the wind is about to hit here as the storm comes through. It's a very common direction for storms out. Look how fast that wind's going there. Yeah. Oh man, this is a this is savage one. Yeah. That wind is really hustling through there. This is savage, man. Not much rain yet, and they they've often said uh, when there's not much rain, you get a lot of lightning because the energy can only dissipate down through the lightning. I don't know how true that is. The rain's starting to intensify. Little birdies out in the tree this time around. Wow, that is just zooming along there. Very, very fast. Those clouds are very, very energetic. I don't like it when you see clouds like that. Whoa. Uh, I'm starting to get wind. I'm starting to get wind. I'm starting to get a lot of rain as well. Thank goodness I got an iPhone 7, hey? I'm not worried about it peeling over in this weather. Yeah, wow, look at the speed of those clouds. That's astonishing. Okay, we're back on the bit of stuff and really rain now. The rain's starting to come in, there's a lot of wind. The wind getting those trees there. Yep, it's really blowing in now. Exciting big storms, aren't they? Very exciting, especially when they're ones like this, but they're also very, very frightening. A lot of people get frightened storms like this morning. Yeah, oh, he, oh, yeah, here comes the wind, man. He's backing up a bit here. Oh, there's going to be some damage from this storm. This is a this is a really nasty one. This is about... Yeah, a lot of wind now coming down. You see the trees over there also getting taken out by the wind. Really driving rain when you get it like this. And because we've had so much rain lately, all the roots of the trees are going to be weak and a lot of trees are going to keep over in this little bit. Oh, and it's really blowing in there now. I've got water drops. There's water coming in off the roof here. Oh, man. I'm getting flooded out in the roof here. It's moving along a bit. I'm just trying to get a bit of safe refuge here. That makes any sense. Looking over there, it's looking very, very gnarly, isn't it? All the rain coming up off the river. Man, I'm getting... Storm. You know what I do? I'd actually, I'd actually go into someone's house. 
It's really, really dangerous walking around. Oh my goodness me, I'm the lightning strike. It's really dangerous walking around like that in this sort of weather. Crazy to do. Well, we just had a blackout. Uh, my son's just come out to tell me the power's off, but I'm not at all surprised. I would say the tree has come down and uh, would have taken out the power lines. It is a sort of classic storm that would take trees out really easily. And strangely enough, it actually looks like uh, it's starting to clear, but they can still see rain falling there. The intensity of the rain is dropping off and it's starting to get a little bit lighter. Okay, so I think I think the worst of it is over. There's still a lot of lightning around. It's still a very, very dangerous storm. Obviously taking out the power at our place. Um, but in a funny way, when we come to the end of our summer and an early autumn, that's the sort of weather that we often get here. That was a very intense storm. It's now blown past, but there's another storm cell approaching uh, from the same direction. That is, for me, the west. If I look down towards the south, uh, it looks very black there, and that's, that's towards Sydney. Uh, the storms in Sydney come through in cells, uh, often at the end of summertime, although we're into the beginning of autumn now, uh, we get these sorts of storms. We've had a ton of rain, and what that would have done, it's weakened all of the ground, so the trees in that windstorm that I showed you, if the trees get hit by a lot of wind and they're susceptible to falling, they're going to come down. Trees are extremely dangerous in storms. You never shelter under a tree. Uh, the man walking along the, the path there on the road with the umbrella in the lightning storm, I would never be seen doing that. I think you've got to try and find refuge in a house, okay? Some people say get into a car, uh, but just make sure there's no axe murderers in your suburb if you're going to find refuge in a house. I think hopefully most of the people around here are quite friendly. <laughs> it's just the crazy ones you've got to watch out for. Yeah, storms are exciting to video. Um, I used to be into it a bit when I was younger with my little VR camera in a car with the windscreen wipers going ee, 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 ee. Uh, But as I got older I got a bit wise, I got more respect for storms and I'm very careful uh, if I'm trying to make videos of storms now Having the iPhone 7 is lovely because it's sort of perfect for stormy weather. I don't care if it gets wet It doesn't care if it gets wet But um, it's good fun videoing storms. They're a good subject matter as the lights are falling here and You know, but you have to be careful Okay, and you also got to be patient. You got to understand storms. These days, you've got radars and stuff. You can see where the storms are. Okay, so it's actually very easy to see when you're about to be hit by a storm. It's almost too easy. Back in the good old days, you had none of that information. Maybe you learned something in this video. Maybe you learned zero, but you saw one of the classic big storms that come through Sydney, the way it hit my place, which is very, very typical up to the end of summer. Well, I thought that was a big storm, but the next day we had a much bigger storm, and that will be another video. And again, we crossed the topic of what do you do if you're caught out in a storm? Do you find refuge in a house, or do you just keep running and hope you're not going to get hit by lightning or a tree? Our place suffered a fair bit of damage and flooding like I've never seen before, and we live at the top of the hill. It was an incredibly intense storm. And once I work out how to make it look nice, I'll put it up onto YouTube so you can totally ignore it. I'm going to do a semi-retreat. 